Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Friday, October 9th, Saturday, October 10th. College football for Saturday coming up at the end of this report. First, a couple of quick notes. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. All right, uh, free pick in college football for Saturday coming up. First, a couple of quick notes. We'll have an NFL play on late Friday, early Saturday morning's video. Uh, and also, I'll be talking about where the sharp money is, where the public money is, and I'll be taking care of all of that on one video this week. So, uh, that'll be our late Friday night, early Saturday morning play, and we'll have uh, a free play from Sunday's NFL on that report. I also wanted to mention that uh, yesterday we didn't get involved in college or pro football. Uh, the Bears get the win over Tampa Bay. Bear backers got the win. I'm going to tell you, that's not a great 4-1 and one football team, but uh, that Tampa Bay offensive line was a mess, and then Brady had a little problem counting downs late in the game, but for the most part, uh, they probably should have won that game. I wasn't involved on either side, wasn't involved on the total, so I got to watch it with uh, no bias. And uh, what we saw was a Chicago team that a uh, little shaky of 4-1, and one, but hey, got to give them credit, they found the win. As far as the other game, the college football game, I wasn't involved in that one either, inside or total, and I was watching that quite a bit. Tulane, let's mark down Tulane as a possible dead team coming up, a team to play against. We've seen them blow a 24 a seven lead now to Houston and then get shellacked. We saw them blow a 24 nothing lead at halftime to Navy and get beat there. This is a team that could be wilting after a couple of really tough losses. So we'll keep an eye on them as a potential uh, dead team coming up in the uh, rest of the month of October and into November. All right, uh, also wanted to mention we won again in the PGA. We opened up things on Thursday out here in Vegas, uh, the Shriners Tournament TPC Summerlin. And we had a real nice and easy winner with Louis Eusthausen getting that win by nine strokes over Homa. And uh, that means we are now four and one with the last five matchups. Going back to August 1st, we are now 22 and 12. That's 65% winners on the PGA. We picked up over $3,300 for those wagering $100 per unit. And I've got two plays, premium picks in the PGA. Second round head-to-head -head matchups on Friday. One of them is a six-star play and it's available over at DocSports.com. On my homepage, we'll look to extend the run to 24 and 12, 67% after Friday's results. Again, six-star play. You'll like the price on this head-to-head -head matchup also. Uh, that's our lead play uh, other than football. Outside of football, I guess I should say, on Friday. Still have seven plays going because we weren't involved on Thursday's football card. We've got seven plays. It starts tonight, Friday night, uh, with the battle between Louisville and Georgia Tech, Friday night ACC football. Uh, we've got Saturday and Sunday football, including a six-star Saturday, a seven-star Sunday. Uh, those top plays, by the way, college and pro football combined now the last few years uh, have hit 61% with the last 97. So be sure to check that out also if you wish. And one final note, passing in Friday's baseball. I think the line is off. The line should be cheaper. It's as far as the Yankees laying that price, uh, but I'm not going to get involved. We're going to take the night off. There's only the one baseball game between the Rays and the Yankees. Uh, we did have our win streak snapped yesterday, but uh, still on a real nice eight and three run and up over two grand during that eight and three run for $100 per unit better. So we're going to be fans watching the Rays and the Yanks duke it out on Friday night. One final note, I will be involved in Friday night NBA game five. Uh, it is available at Doc Sports dot com on Friday. And uh, if you're watching on Saturday, again, you've still got six games to go, six plays to go, three in college football, and you've got uh, three more in the NFL for Sunday. So you can still check that out. All right, let's get to our free pick for today. We're turning to college football action on Saturday, early evening. We're going to back Florida State plus the points over Notre Dame, getting a bunch of points here, about 21 with the Knowles. And uh, we're buying low, and I know they've been playing a, a weak brand of football. We get it. Uh, but they're taking on a Notre Dame team that hasn't played for a few weeks now. Uh, Ten players uh, potentially that won't be playing for the Irish uh, because of COVID issues. There hasn't been a whole lot of practice they did during a scrimmage last weekend from everything we've gathered. Uh, but the bottom line is, is that Florida State, well, they might have found their quarterback the rest of the way this season. Jordan Travis comes off the bench, leads his team to five straight touchdown drives to come back and get the win over Jacksonville State. Uh, and we think that the line, because of everything that's happened, people watch Florida State struggle, saw them lose the opener to Georgia Tech, saw them almost lose. It looked like they were going to lose for a while to Jacksonville State.
State till Jordan Travis came into the game. And then, of course, Notre Dame uh, winning their games when they've been on. They've been off for a couple of weeks now. Uh, but it is a situation where this line is inflated. And we're going to trust our numbers here and, and jump on Florida State getting the 21. So that's the free pick for Saturday. Florida State plus the points over Notre Dame. And uh, again, Friday night, Saturday morning, I will have my NFL report for Sunday. We'll have our Sharps versus Squares report. We'll have a free pick from Sunday's NFL. And so we'll definitely talk to you then. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column, Saturday's college football in the win column, right back here with NFL.